Roadrunners are sixth in the nation in limiting the kickoff return. Opposing teams averaging just about 15 yards on their returns. Bulldogs looking for a big play early on to get them underway here in San Antonio. And how about that start up to midfield? Will they pay off five wide here? Down the middle, early first down for the Bulldogs. Sustained drives also to the outside, back quickly to the line of scrimmage. Smith is three for three. They continue to march this time, dialing up the former two-lane transfer, Teddy Field. They want to atone for that here. The right side and through. The drive will continue for the Bulldogs with first and goal from the six. Smith back under center now. From two yards out, diving towards the end zone, and the Bulldogs strike first. Cam McKnight into the end zone, and Louisiana Tech with a six-point lead. This on the sweep. Looking for the explosive play early on. Blaze Moorhead blazing across midfield. Colin Scott at linebacker for the Bulldogs. He patiently waited his time to finally become a starter for this program over the years. Pressure up ahead. And it's the aforementioned Colin Scott coming through with the sack. Safety blitz. Grundy with three receivers to his left. And unable to haul it in Marquez McNair. Man coverage. The blitz coming. Smith fires it too hot to handle. The pressure was coming, and it'll be time to kick this football away. What you've done so far, and thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Megan, thank you. As the first down pass to Rhodes set up second and short to get this ball across midfield to the Bulldog 49. Showing zone. Slight pressure stayed behind the line of scrimmage. He was a little concerned with where he was there and probably got rid of it a little bit quicker than he had to up looking for B.J. Daniels. To go with Cam McKnight in the backfield. They have a nice stable of running backs. Down the middle, able to bring it in. What a snag by George Scott in traffic. Up to about the 43-yard line. This is great concentration. Nice pocket holding up. Ball over the top and just overthrows Teddy Veal. Good protection. And Grundy able to hit his man, but they'll say incomplete. Would have been a first down. Instead, it's time to punt. Had their hands full today, did the Buckeyes. Smith to the right side. Nice move by Bonnet. Bonnet's a guy they love his speed over the top that time. Little spin to pick up the first down here in San Antonio on a Saturday night. UTSA graduate. Dancy. And the Roadrunners not giving him that final yard they needed. Josiah Taueffa leading the defense. From 46 yards out, has the distance, it is good. And the Bulldogs have a two-score advantage. Runners 38% on third down this year. Grundy to his right. Has the speed, has the first down. And the Roadrunner drive will continue. So Roadrunners down by two scores. Grundy keeps it, needs one more block and has it. Down the sideline, back-to-back -back first down runs for the Roadrunner quarterback, Cordell Grundy. Ten guys in the box. Toss back, eaten up by that defense up front. Leading the charge, the safety, James Jackson, with a few of his Bulldog friends. Smith, pocket collapsing. And the defense of the Roadrunners has held. Same five guys to be healthy Continuity, all at once. Yep. Great protection this time for Grundy. Over the top into traffic, intercepted. Ball falls right in the lap of Legereus Sneed. 
And the Bulldogs force the first turnover of the night. Offense will set up at the Roadrunner 48-yard line. Down came on their game opening drive. Third and 20. Wants it all, has it all. Did he stay in bounds? No. It's an incomplete pass. I've yet to find any points. Good protection, Grundy has his man. And that'll be about an 11-yard gain up ahead to Blaze Moorhead. And that'll be about a yard shy of what they needed on third and 10. It'll be a nine-yard gain back to Moorhead. Free play. And they'll likely decline the penalty and take the 13 yards. They pick up right there with Javante Woodard. Underneath, Hardy. And Levine will finally catch up to him, but not before Hardy sees the tailback here on third and two. And straight ahead, he'll pick up three yards and keep these sticks moving. A good surge by that offensive front that time. Veal. A little hesitation, and he'll come about two yards shy of a touchdown. First and goal coming up. Trying to go up three scores before halftime. Dancy straight ahead. And for the second time tonight, the Bulldogs able to bully their way in from short yardage. Well, that's an outstanding drive. That drive like all but one drive so far, ending in a punt for the Roadrunners. Clock will temporarily stop after the first down snag from Woolen. Trouble reaching midfield. Grundy. Ball is loose, and the Bulldogs appear to have it. Wow, this is just a great tackle. Tried to split. Smith has his man down the middle. And a spin by Veal. You try to get to the line of scrimmage as quick as you can and clock this thing. Each game when the clock will stop after a first down. Smith. Has a man eating him up back at the 28 yard line as Dantzler finally gets to Smith. Smith under pressure, throws it away. And we expect to see the field goal unit coming out. Hale's misses have been from beyond 40 yards this year. Looked good earlier today. And this time is wide. Grundy just 9 of 17 passing tonight. Spins out of a sack, but ultimately cannot elude the second defender. Time, and our goal is to win a game, not the third quarter. So we're trying to win this football game. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thanks, guys. So after winning the opening coin flip, they defer to the second half, and here are the Roadrunners with their Excellent next return. chance to put up points on the board here. So again, that's a personal foul instead of a first and 10. It's third and a mile. Third and 24, throws it into the dirt outside the tackle box. On third and five, Smith under some pressure. And he needs the 27-yard line. He's got it. And this drive continues for Louisiana Tech. Smith with the empty backfield. The route was run right at the first down marker. Levine now just struggling to bring down Hardy well after they move the sticks. A lot of man coverage now. Ball stripped loose, but it looks to have taken a hop. Let's see. It does go the way of the Roadrunners. I thought it fell into the lap of a lineman for Louisiana Tech. Wilson looks on. It's second and ten. Down the middle. 
and a first down as he has favored Moorhead here in tonight's ball game. Sack at 11 of 13 this year. And he is off the mark. Roadrunners just cannot find points in the third quarter this year. You might have considered going for it on fourth and five. Well, down and a good first down play. Great block, blocking out on the edge. Gets the first down. You gets see, the chains moving. Only surrounding 17 points, including one of the quick change scenarios where Louisiana Tech got a turnover and the Roadrunners got it right back. Airing it out, want it all, over the top, able to squeeze it in. And trotting to the end zone is George Scott. Jamar Smith with his first touchdown toss of the night. And the Bulldogs looking to pull away here in the early goings of the second half. Grundy would return to close out the ball game for the victory. Grundy's taking every snap here tonight. Has plenty of room. Cordell Grundy off to the races, out to midfield, finally forced out of bounds by Jordan Baldwin. Seems like many of them have come with the legs of Grundy. And McNair will have another first down, down to the 38-yard line of Louisiana Tech. Linebacker stayed at home. Be a first and ten from the 24 coming up after they link up with McNair again. Giving up the first down, it's third and one. Rhodes, Grundy keeps it, and he will have the first down. That's now four first down runs for Cordell Grundy. Plenty of pressure, just throws up a prayer out towards the sideline, and it'll be incomplete. And a decision to make here on fourth and ten from the 12 for UTSA. And it's good. Roadrunners for the first time this year are on the board in the third quarter with a minute 41 to go. Going quickly without a huddle. And that's gonna be close. Uh, he gets enough. I, I think he made the yard to gain. It'll be first down. Yeah, no hesitation from the chain gang. Empty backfield need to reach their own 47. And there's a face mask that's going to be called on this. So instead of fourth and long, it's going to be a first down for Louisiana Tech. Well, meant against UAB, but has not been an issue here tonight. Smith has time. Looking deep. And on a jump ball, it is going to be broken up by the Roadrunners, and they're going to say... It's picked off. It's intercepted, in fact, by Cassius Grady. Grundy. Another first down with his legs. Uh, he has been the running game for the Roadrunners in the ball game. They had a convincing victory against Rice earlier today. Oh, Grundy able to drop it right in and a nice one-handed snag as the catch made by Carter McCarthy. Back to live play here. Grundy throws up the ball midfield. Ball caught by McNair. McNair goes right to the top of his league. I like that. Good adjustment to the football. And then he goes up high with his hands. Daniel Lewis injured in the first quarter that UAB lost last weekend. Not sure when he'll return. Grundy, another carry, a face mask will be called here, presumably. Give Grundy and company a first down. Grundy has outrushed the rest of his teammates. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 85. 15 yards will be added to the end of the run. First down. Play. They are hiding a running back for the fumble, Ruski. And our cameras at least had the discipline there to stay on Kirk Johnson, Jr. Grundy still behind the line of scrimmage, fires one into the back of the end zone, had two men in the area. It'll be a turnover on downs for UTSA, so again, a drive comes up short. Veal. 
Well, that's a horse collar, isn't it? Yeah, that would be the good old fashioned horse collar typically, and that's what Skip Holtz is wondering about. Quick release, has the first down and then some. As Adrian Hardy will keep this drive moving for the Bulldogs. See where they look on third and four. Dancy keeps those legs churning, a five yard gain. Ball was on the ground. He's able to get back on top of it. That ball came out. King until this last drive, up by three scores. This is third and one. UTSA will make the stop on third down. If the Bulldogs kick a field goal, it's a four score ball game, but they may prefer just to go for it one more time and not give UTSA a chance for a miraculous block and return. The football, McKnight, the tailback. Play action to throw. That would have stopped the clock had it been incomplete. Of course, it would have been a turnover on downs either way, but all oh, that's a moot point. Bulldogs first down, and they will continue to take time off this clock in excess of nine minutes on the fourth quarter clock. McKnight with the spin. Keeps the spin cycle going inside the 10 for another first down. Take a snap and take a knee. Our stat guy, Mark Kusenberger, all over how long this drive has been. Trying to get back into the end zone and for the second time this evening. That right arm with the football of McKnight outstretched and in. New quarterback for the Roadrunners. This is Jordan Weeks, a freshman. That's got to draw a flag. I don't think they'll get a snap off. That'll do it. Roadrunners see their three-game winning streak come to an end. Skip Holtz gets the Bulldogs back on track after struggles at home. They go on the road and up in the Roadrunners.